Alrighty, Mr. Gate Keeper. Out here around the northeast end of Georgia. I've got a uh, another built from scratch amplifier. If uh, any of y'all watched the uh, <clears throat> last video I did of the uh, two uh, two transistor amps built from scratch, this is the uh, three of four that I wasn't able to get done that day. So this is the uh, third one. It's uh, built from from the ground up. Had to drill all the holes in this case and drill all the holes in the board and the heat sink. So it's uh, got about twice the amount of labor in it just because of having to do all that. But uh, kind of set up kind of like a uh, kind of similar to an X-Force base in a sense, the way their boxes are done. I've got the, uh, the main fan, the case fan right here that's blowing in. And I also as well have two pretty fast 50 millimeter fans in there that's taking that air and plus blowing more air out of these four ports. And let me demonstrate how much air is actually flowing across this heat sink. I'm going to demonstrate it just with this uh, this envelope here. So I'm going to hold it pretty much right there. I don't know how I'm going to do this with one hand. Hey, Riley, come over here real quick. Do something for me for the video, bud. I'm going to get my son to do this for me. All right, you see this switch right here? This one? Right here, the silver switch. That one? Mm-hmm. Right there. When I tell you to, turn it on. Don't do it yet, though, okay? All right. Hold on. All right. One, two, three, turn it on. <laughs> Alright, turn it off. Hey, Rod, come here. Alright, turn it back on. Uh -huh. so that's some pretty good air flow. You see how far away that is. Yeah, turn it back off. I don't know, three feet, four right. feet. Yeah, you can turn it back off, though. Thank you. I think it's the first time I've had to get my son to uh, help me out with a video. <laughs> I had that idea, but I ain't. I had that idea before I was about to record, but I didn't, I didn't think it all the way through how I was going to actually uh, show that. But anyway, I was just demonstrating. It's, it's blowing some real nice air. Real nice air through there. And uh, first, we'll do an output test. And uh, after that, I'll take the uh, top off here and let you see the insides. And. Uh, Basically, this ain't going. This is an HG uh, zero, with two zero four dash fours in there, okay? Which uh, aren't on the market as of right this split second. If you buy them from the uh, HG website, those are what we call the US distros. Um, but these are the, these two zero four dash fours. And pretty much this box ain't designed to be a big mall box that you can get three plus four hundred bird out of and get five six hundred watts out of because it only has one thirty amp module in it. Okay. And as we everybody knows, two twenty eight seventy nines, if you push them to, to their limits, they're gonna be doing more than thirty amps of current. So this pretty much is basically what you would pretty much call about a four hundred plus four hundred watt box. And uh, I can get it to do 200 bird, no problem. You got to hit it with the with the driver. But so this ain't gonna be your big mall max out box. Now if I hook this two pill up to this 100 amp supply over here, like y'all seen me do some of the other videos, it'd be different. <laughs> you could get 600 plus out of. So I just wanted to count that out. The way I got the air flowing through this puppy, man, this box should last you a while. A good. This would be a good box to rag chew on you know locally out there in skip land and another thing it'd be a perfect box for a driver these here. variables right here these uh from russia they they seem to have a little bit more control to me than the regular 100 ohms that i use i mean you can make this bad boy do 200 watts 300 watts 250 watts i mean you got a lot of control over it and, and they're pretty tough too so this would be a great driver from pretty much a four pill up to a 12 pill. So it'd be a great driver. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing, everything turned on. All right, yeah, we got everything turned on here. All right, let's flip on the box. 
I, do, I will say it's a little noisy because of all the fans, but it's good to keep them transistors good and cool. All right. We're going to be hitting it with just a 4-watt radio. It's 4 watts RMS. Here, I'll demonstrate that real quick. Let's turn this around. All right. One watt dead key, that's a 10 watt slug by the way. Oh, oh, right there, um, a little bit under four. You know, it fluctuates whatever, according to whatever you're hooked up to. Right, just turn that back around for input reflect. We got the thousand watt slug in, okay. Right, this is RMS with just four watts in. Oh, oh. Right there, about 80 watts RMS. Let's make sure that's all well. Here's your input tune. This input tune has turned out absolutely superb. Ooh, it doesn't even move. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. beautiful tune, man. Don't get any better than that. All right, here's your PEP. This, is like, keep in mind, this is just four watts of drive which is peaking right there around 18 to 20, 25 watts, somewhere around that range, okay? 1,000 watts slug, PEP. Go, that's 300 watts, just a tad bit over. Go, all right, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all, especially being on the supply that it is. Like I said, this isn't the biggest supply that these two transistors need if you're going to be out there mauling on them and you know pushing them around their max but easy pushing it this is perfect perfect supply for good and easy pushing it so this box is working well for the way it's set up i'm very happy with the way it turned out all right now we're going to put a little bit more drive this is a high drive box keep in mind if you're going to be driving a little bit of power in it, it's best to keep that variable turned all the way up okay unless you just have to trim off a little bit of dead key but it's best to do that this is mainly good for if you're going to be using the uh using this as a driver into another box that's that's basically because you ain't gonna have no problem with the dead key on this thing you know? all right i'll be right back we're gonna hook up the hot radio all right we got the hot radio up stick man modified cobra 29 we are now double our input from 4 watts RMS to 8 watts RMS, okay? Um, let's go over to RMS, 1000 watt slug RMS. Go! Come on now. Focus! Focus! Focus, please. Thank you. Dude, yeah. right there about 150 RMS. All right, here's your peak. Dude, yeah. right there almost 400 watts. Right under. Right under. Dude, where's your 400? <coughs> you know it do 400. 400 watts PP, just hitting it with a hot radio. Can't beat that at all. All right. I'm going to take this top lid off. I'm going to hit it with a driver next, but I'm going to take this top lid off before I do that. And I'm going to hook the bolt meter up to it, okay? So I'll be right back. Alrighty. You know, one thing I just noticed, I, pro I probably should have put that label right there in the opposite direction. <laughs> hey, man, when you're building these boxes from the ground up like this, you can try to plan everything out in your mind, but sometimes you ain't gonna plan everything out perfectly. But uh, yeah, as long as you're looking at the box the other way, it looks fine. But anyway, just one thirty amp module. The module's uh, about two, three. Uh, well, hold on. I about to say about a half inch off the bottom. There's uh, got four standoffs on the bottom of it. Okay. And like I said, there's your your case fan right here. Uh, I took this off and it's been modified just a bit on the inside and I went ahead and turned the fan around the opposite direction So the fan is now blowing into this unit right here. Okay, so it's blowing into the unit coming out of the unit So it's gonna take that air as well along with this air 
it's going to hit this back wall and pretty much go over here and go through these two fans right here. And these two fans are right up on the heat sink, man. So it's just going to be forcing that air across that heat sink. There's the amp part. If you watched the other video, you saw this exact board as I was building it in the other video. So there she is, two uh, 04 4 HG 2879s. And I will like to repeat, a lot of people are getting confused. These are not the old HGs, okay? These are not the HGs from two, three years ago. They, they, they were not that good at all. <laughs> These are an updated HG. I've been uh, doing a lot of testing back and forth to get them, get, get them to where they're at. Uh, so there you go. All right. Go ahead and flip her on. The voltage is sitting right at 4.8 volts. Let me zoom in on that so y'all can see that. 14.8 volts, okay? Now this right here I'm about to show you, you're going to see where this supply starts uh, start struggling. This means we got it maxed out pulling over 30 amps. Alright. We got the driver. The epoxy one pill, a lot of y'all seen. First one pill ever built. It's probably gonna put be putting about 40 bird. Thousand watt slug still. Ooh, yeah, it's about 40. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, well, about 40, maybe 50, maybe 50. Right there, about 280 RMS, and it is struggling at this point. And as you can see, take a look over here. So you're struggling back there, about 14.1 volts. Back in about 100 watts. See if we back this thing down just a tad bit. Now we're about 50 watts. Ooh. Back that bad boy down just a bit more. Exactly. Ooh. Ooh. Working nice, man. Very nice. All right, let me get this thing unhook it, and I'll show you a little bit another view on the inside, and get this bad boy off the eBay. Alrighty. Another thing I will point out: the type of paint I did uh, that I use. I did primer this box. It's a steel box. It was. <laughs> It, it took me over an hour and a half just to get that whole drill back there for that fan cooked. God almighty. But anyway, um, I did primer it and paint it. I should have put a coat of clear on there. I wasn't, wasn't thinking. But, uh, you know, just be careful when you're moving around. It's pretty easy to, as you can see, the paint got chipped a bit just from taking the top on and off, you know, right here. But like I said, hey, this is a box built from the, from the ground up. And uh, I kind of had it in mind to do a, a, an, another HG build, but not a big mall HG build, but maybe a more of a type of rag chewing type box, one that can be be keyed. You ain't got to, you know, you work, you ain't got to worry about heat because that heat's going to be, you know, always getting off that heat sink. And uh, so it's a nice little air flowing system here. To keep the supply good and cool you know that fan back there is going to be hitting that supply as well and uh so you know it turned out good i'm pretty happy it's first little base box i put together like this from the ground up like this so uh, i'm happy with the way it turned out well anyway this thing's going off to ebay man so uh y'all grab it while you can tune tune for perfection as i like to say <laughs> there he 
you go. Mr. Gatekeeper from gatekeeperamps.com. I ain't got a website built yet, but it takes you to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be designing my site soon. As a lot of y'all know, I am I am a, uh, what they call a computer nerd. I got my first computer about age around six. Started designing software using the uh, uh, basic language. Moved on to Visual Basic 3.0 and started programming pretty deeply. 16 hours a day sometimes. So, uh... I got the uh, what it takes to get the site built, but it's all about time, y'all. And I know a lot of y'all understand that. But uh, God bless, and it was good seeing everybody up at Manchester, Tennessee. And uh, the fella that uh, won the amplifier, the guy that shook my hand. Hey, bud, just be patient. We'll get that thing done here in the next two weeks, man. And uh, no gatekeeper around Northeast in the jar. God bless. 73rd, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.